Motivational Mondays. Hi guys, it is Carrie Schust and I am so excited to be your host today right here on the Tulsa scene. We are jamming on this Momentum Monday and we are about to kick it into place by bringing you some momentum for your Monday. As always, we are so grateful that you guys are following us right here on Facebook and on YouTube as well as in any of your Apple store or where you can find most of your podcast. But today, today is super special because I have this crazy, amazing, beautiful person in my life and her name is Jenny Dalby. And Jenny is coming alongside me. She's a beautiful Tulsa woman. She has a beautiful coaching business and I do believe that from one coach to another, it's always good to have a team of coaches that you can help your clients and you can help yourself personally as an entrepreneur, as someone that is dreaming and ready to be productive in their life. So Jenny, welcome. Thank you. Super excited. I would love for you to tell our viewers and our listeners who you are, what you're about. Okay. Well, I'm Jenny Dalby. I am a life and mindset coach, and I help people to accomplish their goals and get to where they want to be in life and actually live their dreams by getting out of their own way. I help people to identify the thoughts and then the actions and habits that are keeping them from getting where they want to be and then rewire their brains, get those out of their way and create thoughts that are going to get them to where they want to be. Oh, Okay, so who doesn't need that on a Motivational Monday? I mean, to be rewired, to get electrified. I mean, I think that's the beauty of frequencies. When you've got goodness going through you and you can get rid of some of that old to bring in some new. Yeah. And, of course, you guys know my saying, right? You have to make room for the good to become great. So right now, I am going to let Jenny take the reins and she's going to just talk to us about productivity and the flow of excellence and I think you guys are going to want to grab your pen, your paper, put those um, ear, po ear pods in, and really let's get ready to learn something from Jenny today. All right, so when you told me this was the topic, it's funny because I've been thinking about this a lot lately, and I could probably talk for like a year on this topic, but the things that were really on the forefront of my mind are the things that I wanted to bring to you guys today. So first of all, I want to start off by saying that I feel like productivity is when it's done with the right mindset, it leads to excellence. So mm -hmm. the two go very much hand in hand and it really all comes down to mindset. So the various, the two first tips I'm gonna give you kind of like flow one from the other. So the first thing I'm gonna tell you that you gotta have in place when you wanna have productivity and a flow of excellence is self-honesty and taking responsibility. So we as humans are capped off in the areas that we're not willing to really honestly look at ourselves and take responsibility and be willing to work on those things. We have to be willing to self-assess. And so the key to being truly productive and creating excellent results is creating a routine of looking at ourselves and assessing our habits very honestly and not being too attached to anything, being willing to let things go and rework things and dig within ourselves and really ask us like, why am I doing this? Why am I sabotaging myself here? Let's let's talk about that for okay. a second. Because in this, in this year that we have previously mm -hmm. gone through, mm -hmm. there's so many of us that went through emotional dysfunction, yeah. um, having feelings feelings that we didn't know, suppressed feelings that came forward. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it does affect us in goals, dreams, visions. Yeah. It affects us in relationships, finances, physical, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And that is why it's super important to bring in the capability of emotional rewiring. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. All right. I totally agree. Okay. So the thing I really want to emphasize about this is a lot of people think it's like so bad and ugly and awful to have to look at those things and be honest. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, it actually is very empowering because once you know what's wrong, you can fix it. And if you're unwilling to look at it, then you're just going to stay stuck forever. Yeah. Um, so the root of everything, every result, negative result we have in our lives is a thought that we have that's not serving us. And there really just lies in our brains about ourselves and our circumstances. And so really anything that's holding you back is actually just a lie. And that's the really beautiful thing to look at is you are really, it's not true. Like it's a lie. And once we identify that, we can get rid of it. And I think I, to add something to mm -hmm. that, I think when you look at social media, mm -hmm. which so many people were influenced mm -hmm. in the last year, mm -hmm. there's so much hate and so much dysfunction that if you can realize who you are, yeah. You're going to better your world, your community, mm -hmm. your family, and eventually that's going to be empowering to yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Right? For okay. sure. Yes. Empowerment's where it's at. Yes. I totally agree. Yes. All right. 
So um, I, what I do all day with clients is really just helping them to identify those thoughts and then rework them and get rid of them so they're not holding themselves back anymore. And so, um, you know, one thing we have to do is create a really safe and non-judgmental place and space for ourselves to do that. That's what I do with clients. And that's what you have to do for yourself is like love yourself through those things and realize I'm, even though I fear these things are true, they're actually really mm. not. And I just have to find them and then prove to myself that they're not true. So good. And so um, the key is... You can start practicing this by cultivating self-awareness. And here's what you can do at home to help you to do this. I really recommend doing a thought download exercise. And that's where you're going to take a pen and paper or a computer and you're going to write down every single thought that comes to your mind when you think about the area where you're feeling stuck or the, um, the, the areas in your life that aren't where you want them to be. Just do a thought download. Just like get into a stream of flow, um, a stream of thought, and just write down everything you can possibly think of. And that is going to reveal to you what those negative thoughts, those lies you're believing are. Okay. What, let's, let's talk about, let's get specific with mm -hmm. our viewers and our mm -hmm. listeners. So okay. would that be physical? Like areas in where their thoughts are coming from. Physical, emotional, financial. So it would be just any thoughts related to really any area. So if they're, let's say they're professionally, they're mm -hmm. trying to improve their professional life. Um, and they're really frustrated because maybe they're not. My sister's an esthetician. We'll use her as an example. She's not getting new aesthetics clients. Mm -hmm. She can sit down and just write down why... Like, what thoughts are coming to my mind when I think about getting aesthetics clients? Isn't like, this going to be not great good for enough. you? I, oh my I, nobody wants to work with yes. me. I'm afraid to charge what I need to charge. Like, anything that comes to your mind. And that right there helps you to be empowered to move forward because then you can work on those thoughts and you know what's holding you back yeah. from moving forward. That's awesome. Okay. Um, so we're going to build on this with the next point that I have, and that is practicing thoughts that make you productive and excellent. So what you want to do, first of all, is you have to understand that mindset is everything. If you haven't gathered that from me so far, your mindset is everything. You create your results from the thoughts that you think. That works because what happens is you think a thought, you have a feeling from that thought, and then you're going to take action based on those feelings. Uh, yeah. If you feel like crap so all day in your work, you're going to produce <laughs> crappy work. And there yeah. goes your excellence down the tube, right? Keyword for the, for the day. <laughs> Hashtag crap. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Um, <laughs> okay, so just as you saw in the last step, when you identify your negative thoughts, and then you start to see the self-fulfilling prophecies of how you're starting to think and then how those thoughts create feelings and those feelings create results mm. or actions and then the actions create results, okay? Yeah. So if you want to be pr more productive, you have to choose thoughts that inspire you toward being more productive. So what you're going to do is you want to create a belief plan and so you're going to come up with thoughts that propel you towards where you want to be. And the easiest way to do that is use the, the thought download from the last step and choose the thoughts that are the opposite of those things. So but going back to my sister, who is an esthetician, she could think things like, I deliver results for my clients. I love creating value for my clients. Mm, so this good. is working. Like whatever thoughts are going to make her feel propelled towards creating being really highly productive and creating excellent work for her clients she just wants to work on thinking those things now here's the key you have to practice them every day and that doesn't just mean you like say them to yourself like mantras where most people go wrong with affirmations is that they don't learn to feel them in your body mm. you have to feel it in your body because the feelings in your body are a result of your brain actually adapting to that thought and buying into it and creating neurochemicals from that thought so in if you don't get to that point you're not your brain is not buying into that completely yes. and you're never going to get the results of it okay so the way that you do that is you actually give yourself evidence why that thought is true. So mm -hmm. if she's going to say, I deliver results from my clients, she's going to go back and find times when she did deliver results for her clients. If she needs to believe she's creating value for her clients, she's going to go find examples of times that she's done that or yeah. ways that she could do that. You guys, this is so good. I hope you've got that pen and paper and that those ear pods in because this is going to be a way for you to absolutely kick some momentum in to not only your personal life, your professional life, but into the life of, that you want to create. Yes. Right? And don't absolutely. you have some more about that? Yes, I do. So... One other thing I want to say about creating thoughts is if you have a hard time jumping to that really like dramatic end result thought, you can create kind of a ladder, a step by step way of doing that by working yourself from possibility to inevitability. So you can start with anything is possible, 
easy for our brains usually to grab a hold of that thought. Anything is possible. Then you want to attach that to your situation. So back to the esthetician. It's possible for me to become a fully booked esthetician. Okay, you're stepping yourself one step closer to where you want to be. Again, find evidence to back that up. Maybe other people have done it, something like that. And then you can jump yourself to... I am a fully booked esthetician. Mm. If you can believe it's possible for you, then your brain's going to be able to jump over to it actually being inevitable for That's you. That's so good. Yes. Great, strong tip right there. Thank you. <laughs> All right. My third thing that I have is kind of a little bit of a di diversion from those two is you have to schedule your rest and your fun time if you want to be more productive and more excellent in your work. Mm. Okay. Um, people need rest. We need fun. You cannot work all the time. And if you try to, you're going to burn out. Um, we're so good at scheduling our work all the time that a lot of times we forget that we don't ever prioritize or schedule all of our downtime and our fun. And what happens is when our, when we look visually at our calendars and all we see is work, mm. our brains are going to think all I do is work because it's all it's seeing. Our brains very much go yes. off of visual cues. And so what's going to happen is it's going to trick your brain into burning out before you've actually ever even gotten there. And you're going to produce all the same actions of burnout before you've actually been burned out. So you're going to start procrastinating, avoiding work, producing like kind of, um, you're going to be like half into your work, feeling exhausted, a lot of those different things. Let's pause right there. Okay. So, okay, all of you who are in our audience and listening either right here live on, on the podcast or you are listening to the replay, I want you to raise your virtual hand if that affected you. It has not At any past. point in the last 365 days. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, so I think you've got a whammy of, of some solid final points uh -huh. that Jenny has to offer. Um, so give us the, those last bit of golden nuggets. Okay, all right, so to wrap this up, the thing that you have to do is start scheduling your fun and rest time just as much as you schedule right. your work time. You need to put <laughs> it in your calendar because if your brain sees rest and fun time, it's gonna think, oh, I'm well rested, oh, I'm balanced, uh -huh. oh, I have rest coming up so I can work really hard on this because then I can rest afterwards. Mm -hmm. And what happens is it makes your rest and fun time feel so much more rewarding and fulfilling because it's like, oh, I earned this, like I worked really hard for this because you're so focused and driven and just like all into your work in between those times yes. and it feels so rewarding and good to have those rest and fun times. Um, so your brain will stop resisting work and um, it's reassured that rest is coming when you schedule all of your rest time. I think those are some amazing nuggets as far as how to produce productivity and flow in, in our life. And Jenny, thank you so much for being my guest. Thank you. She's right here in Tulsa, the greatest city ever, right? So my name is Carrie Schust, and I am the founder of Motivational Me. You can find me at www.motivationalme.net. You can also find me at I Am Leadership on Instagram. And Jenny, how can we get a hold of you? Okay. So first of all, I work with people uh, virtually, so I can work with anybody anywhere, but you can get a hold of me by my email. It's Jenny, J-E-N-N-Y at JennyDalby.com. That's D-A-L-B as in boy, Y.com. Um, you can get a hold of me on my Instagram. It's Instagram.com slash Jenny A. Dalby. Um, my Facebook is Jenny A. Dalby as well. And then you can also find me on my personal Facebook um, account, which is just Jenny Dalby. So any, all awesome. of the above. Yeah. And we are going to have that right down here in the comments for you guys to get a hold of us because we want to help you. You know, yeah. we want to help you make 2021 and the yeah. rest of the next moment mm -hmm. your best season ever. Absolutely. Guys, thank you so much. Um, Jenny, thank you. Thank you. I am so grateful and honored to be here with you. And thank you for being here with us on the Tulsa scene. Like this, comment, and share it because you know that sharing is caring. All right, mm -hmm. guys, I will see you right back here next Monday. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>